It's time to dish with D. That's me. Here we are for part three of our Food Fights Friday. We're going into the fruit and vegetable canned aisle today to see what things you might not know exist there. So let's go and let's get see what kind of stuff we can find that you might not know about. All right, and we're going to start with the soup department of the canned fruits and vegetables. And there's all different kinds. Now look, you have reduced sodium. You have no sodium. You have fat-free. You have all different kinds of broths. You also have bone broths. Now these are a little bit higher in protein, a little bit more nutrient dense, a little bit pricier as well, but you might want to try them, you know, and they're great to have as a sipping broth. If you just want to sip on broth, bone broth. And look at this better than bouillon. If you just eat a little bit of, of a flavor to anything, instead of a using a cube, I love using the better than bouillon. Yes, there's sodium in it, but you know what? Just don't add any extra salt, but check out the different brands of broth broth. You can see there, I'm showing you the little nutritional information on the bone broth. And we have soups. Now, there are some soups that are better than other soups. And there are some soups that are higher in fats and points. Oh, Rayo's now has soup. Um, higher in fats, thicker, not as healthier. And you'll see the options when you see like light. You know, home style is a dead giveaway. Now, Progresso has a great line of different types of soups. So we have some rich soups, we have some light soups, you know, you just have to, you know, weigh and measure your options. Reduce sodium, read your labels. Go shopping and read your labels, but there are different brands have different types of soups and different, like I said, the light, you can get definitely more for your point bank buck. And these Amy soups, I love these. They're so unique, the things that the Amy soup line has, so definitely worth checking out. If you've never tried the Amy soup line, yes, they're a little bit pricier, I'm not going to lie, but they have really, really interesting soups. And so is that Pacific brand. It's one of those things you can get at Whole Foods. Beans, now did you know, baked beans come in low and no sugar. I don't like baked beans. I don't normally buy these. The kids like them. But this is a lighter option. Look at that. You can absolutely get a little thing of beans. I'm going to show you the, the calories in there. I didn't scan them. You can see the difference between the original and the zero sugar. So if it's a lighter bean option, I don't know if your store carries it, but it's nice to have zero sugar options when you're talking about different things. So whether you're having a big meal, and we're looking down here and we have tuna. I love the packets of tuna. Oh my gosh, there's no water. You just dump it and go. There's chicken, there's tuna, there's salmon. They're so great. I love getting them. And look at the price compared to the Dollar Tree. And make sure that your tuna is packed in water, not oil. I will say olive oil tuna is fantastic. It is the best. If you want to get tuna in oil, get it in olive oil. It is so good. Yes, it is points. But different types of tunas, there's fresh catch, there's all different kinds of um, chunk lights, albacore, you know, the tuna industry. Look at, I mean, look at the <laughs> selection of tuna. But I love the packets, and the packets all come in flavors. A little bit spicy. This one has rice and beans. Oh, the spicy chai chili is my favorite, I will tell you that. But yeah, it's just fun to do something different with tuna. If you're not a person that likes to have spices around, it's already done for you. And they're, they make really good. You put a little fork in there and you can have your little lunch. And look at that. Look at the golden basket line of tuna. And yes, I have had that squid. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, oil. When you're looking at oils and sprays, Pam Sprays was the original. But these, these non-aerosols over here are so much better for your pans. I know they're a little bit more pricier. Um, I know, but they really are better. They can use These you can use on nonstick pans. The other ones, they say that, but they ruin your pans. But these non-aerosol ones are the ones you should be using. And when buying olive oil, just make sure that you don't get a blend. That's all I ask. Make sure it's just olive oil and vinegars. Look at the different vinegars. Oh my gosh, look at them all. I mean, it's like, I love a good vinaigrette. And olive oil and vinegar salad dressing is making a comeback. Look at the different flavors of, of vinegar. I mean, oh my gosh, and they're just fantastic. I've never seen such a, a display of vinegar, but it just makes for night like, marinades. It makes for really great salad dressings. And look at this. I know. Can you? I just, I just have flabbergasted at the selection of vinegars that you can get in your local grocery store. Look at that. I know. But try a different one. You just never know how they taste. And remember, you don't need a lot. A little bit of vinegar goes a long way. Do not buy cooking wine. Please, never ever buy cooking wine. 
and look at these fun oils oh my gosh i know i'm a little i'm i fangirl when it comes to fun oils and vinegars i am and it gives you don't need a lot you really don't a teaspoon goes a long way with these flavored olive oils and coconut oil is having a moment it is everybody's on the coconut oil bandwagon and look at the ghee oh the ghee the ghee is having a moment too look at all the selections of ghee <sighs> ghee is high in points i'm not gonna lie but look at, oh, look at these, the little balsamic glazes and the reduced and the aged balsamics. Do not buy cooking wine. You only cook with wine, see, no, no, that wine that you drink. Dried beans. If you have an Instant Pot, you need to grab a bag of these and make yourself some beans. Oh my gosh, so simple, so delicious. You get so many beans and they're so good. If you, if you have an Instant Pot, do me a favor. Check out my YouTube channel, find where I do beans, and see how fun and easy it is to do your own beans. These are my favorite. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm going to buy white beans anymore because they're so much better in the Instant Pot. And hearts of palm. Oh, and artichokes. Make sure they're just in water or brine, not in olive oil, because it would be zero points. But oh my gosh, I am having a moment with artichokes and hearts of palm. If you've not tried it, you should. Just like I said, just don't get it where it's in olive oil because then you'll have to count it. Nobody wants to do that. Baby carrots in a can as long as you're not in olive oil. A lot of fun. Something different. If you've not looked up there and look at these. See, they're the ones in oil, the marinated ones. They're good. And beets. Have you ever tried canned beets? My mother always made them hot and I never liked them. But you make a cold beet salad, I may convert you. Sauerkraut. It's good for your gut. You need to have a little bit of sauerkraut in your life. Look at the canned mushrooms. These should be in your pantry. You can never far having a mushroom scramble. Open a can and dump it in your scramble. It's delicious. You'll thank me later. And of course, canned beans. <sighs> beans are having a moment in my life. Canned potatoes. They make really good um, in a egg quiche baked in the oven, which I have to do and I've been dying to. And canned chickpeas for your hummuses should always be in your pantry. There they are. Yep, you can make hummus at a moment's notice with some non-fat Greek yogurt and some canned chickpeas, a little lemon juice and some garlic. You will thank me. But yes, always should have beans around. Beans are filling. And we're in the fruit department on sweetened applesauce. It is having a moment with me. And look at these, 100% fruit juice or no sugar added. Those are the ones you get. Everything else has syrup and has sugar and calories added to it that you don't need. You have to get the no sugar added because... You know, you could drain it and rinse it, obviously, but um, it's just easier to have it done this way. And there's so many good options these days for the no sugar added. I really highly recommend. I haven't, I use them in my little breads and yes, on sweetened apples. All right, we're paper. back. I do have a haul. I didn't want to buy anything, but I remembered I was out of green tea bags. I only had two left. So I did get the store brand of green tea. They did a decaf, and I almost thought about getting decaf, but I thought I only have two cups a day, and I don't think I want to have two cups of decaf. We all need our little caffeine burst, don't we? So the other thing I got was something that I had in yesterday's vlog. If you watched yesterday's vlog, if you didn't, it's always linked at the end of the video. It's day in the life. It's just fun. Um, I made dinner, and I made these goodles, which are good noodles. And I, if you saw it at first, I tasted it and I thought, oh, and then at the end, it kind of had a funky aftertaste. Now, the boys liked it. Even though I did add that extra milk, it did help, I will tell you that. Um, the boys didn't mind it. I did. I thought it just tasted weird. I didn't know if it was the Parmesan that, or it was the protein, and I didn't know. But they thought it was good. So I want to try another flavor give it a second chance. So I did pick up Down the Hatch which is a hatch chili. So I thought, well, give it another try because each serving has 14 grams of protein. If you're a person that, you know, I have a lot of subscribers that always look for uh, meals for one or two people because it's just the two of them. And this is a two person serving. Each person gets a cup of noodles. And if you like it, it's 14 grams of protein. And if you have it with a piece of chicken or fish, that's more protein. So I will give this one a try. And at the regular grocery store had it. It was probably price-wise, because I know you're going to get asked that. I do have my receipt here. $3.79. Now, that might seem steep, 
but you are paying for the benefit of the protein. Anything that has protein in it is always pricier. But if it's just the two of you, you know, I think it's definitely affordable. Eight grams of fiber and 21 nutrient nutrients from plants. It's plant-based. Now, the noodles themselves were really good because I tasted the noodles while I was before I drained them to make sure they were done. So the noodles shockingly have a good texture and taste, which you know me. Uh, and the noodles have um, protein in them as well. So I was pleasantly surprised that I didn't mind that. They weren't, maybe because they're smaller, I don't know. But I thought the creamy hatch chili just sounded really good. So we'll probably have that maybe tomorrow. I don't know, because Peter really liked it. So, and he loves anything with protein in it. So he was looking on Amazon. So I, did, I couldn't remember where I got it. But when I was at the store filming today, I saw it there. I thought it'd be great. They had like four or five different flavors. I didn't want to show it on the video because it's not something, uh, you know, I'm encouraging you to buy. But I am showing it to you at the end. So I guess I should, I guess I could. But I really wasn't doing pasta today. I was doing uh, canned vegetables and fruits and soups and stuff like that. So I just throw that in there. We will try this in the near future. And I will let, me let, let you know if it's better than the Parmesan one. But. I know Peter's going to like it, so, and Steve. <laughs> it's just me. So that is it for me for this Food Finds Friday. We are in the canned vegetable and fruit aisle today. I hope you enjoy this series, and it's series part three. I don't know how many parts we're going to get to, but it's just showing you different things you might not try in your regular grocery store. So for me, um, I enjoy canned beets. And I don't know, I'm not, I'm not, I know I'm not going to have enough time to explain that I love to make a beet salad. I know. See, if you're like me and growing up, your mother made Harvard beets, which are hot beets. Mm, yeah, I didn't like them. But when you get a canned beet, drain it, and make a vinaigrette and have it cold, it's so much better. Or just toss them from the can into a salad. So delicious. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't rule out beets because maybe the way you had them just wasn't great. Always try to change your preparation for things. And oh my gosh, I love a good beet salad. I do. I am, I love beets. Beets are brain food. I was told that once. I'm like, yeah, your girl needs some beets. So, definitely, like I said, just because you don't like it one way doesn't mean you might not like it a different way. And look at me. I never, I didn't like beans my whole life. Really did not like beans. Now I am being obsessed because I found a different way to make them and a different preparation and, and putting different things in there. You just never know. So that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish with Thee, where we are taking apart our grocery store section by section to see some interesting things that you might not know are out there. I'm here to help. And if you are new here, welcome. And if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish with D. We'd love to have you as part of our YouTube family. And leave me a comment. Oh my gosh, if you've never leave, left me a comment, please leave me a comment and introduce yourself. Because I I love when I get, hi, I've never commented, but I watch all the time. Comment, comment, I'd like to meet you. I do. I, I get to know the people that comment a lot. So I like to get to know the people that don't comment a lot. So... And that is it. I will leave that video here. I think it's on this side. Could be on that side. Depends on, you know, the uh, vlog video will be up so you get to see me tasting the other goodles. So anytime there's videos on the side, they're just videos that need a little bit of extra love. So if you have a couple extra minutes, I would appreciate if you have time to give them a view. And again, comment on those as well. And I will dish with you another day. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for enjoying the series.